Socrates of Constantinople, also known as Socrates Scholasticus, was a 5th-century Christian church historian, a contemporary of Sizomen and Theodort. He is the author of a Historia Ecclesiastica which covers the history of late ancient Christianity during the years 305 to 439. Life he was born at Constantinople. Even in ancient times nothing seems to have been known of his life except what can be gathered from notices in his Historia Ecclesiastica, which departed from its ostensible model, Eusebius of Caesarea, in emphasizing the place of the emperor in church affairs and in giving secular as well as church history. Socrates' teachers, noted in his prefaces, were the grammarians Heladius and Ammonius, who came to Constantinople from Alexandria, where they had been pagan priests. A revolt, accompanied by an attack on the pagan temples, had forced him to flee. This attack, in which the Serapium was vandalized and its library destroyed, is dated about 391. That Socrates of Constantinople later profited by the teaching of the sophist Troilus is not proven. No certainty exists as to Socrates' precise vocation, though it may be inferred from his work that he was a layman. In later years he travelled and visited, among other places, the Phlegonia and Cyprus. The Historia Ecclesiastica. The history covers the years 305 to 439, and experts believe it was finished in 439 or soon thereafter, and certainly during the lifetime of Emperor Theodosius II, i.e., before 450. The purpose of the history is to continue the work of Eusebius of Caesarea. It relates in simple Greek language what the Church experienced from the days of Constantine to the writer's time. Ecclesiastical dissensions occupy the foreground, for when the Church is at peace, there is nothing for the Church historian to relate. In the preface to Book 5, Socrates defends dealing with Arianism and with political events in addition to writing about the Church. The Historia Ecclesiastica is one of the few sources of our knowledge of Hypatia, the female mathematician and philosopher of Alexandria. Socrates' account is in many respects well balanced. He is careful not to use hyperbolic titles when referring to prominent personalities in church and state. He is often assumed to have been a follower of Novationism, but this is based on the fact that he gives a lot of details about the Novationists and speaks of them in generous terms, as he does of Arians and other groups. He speaks of himself as belonging to the church. Socrates asserts that he owed the impulse to write his work to a certain Theodorus, who is alluded to in the Proemium to the second book as a holy man of God and seems therefore to have been a monk or one of the higher clergy. The contemporary historians Sizomen and Theodore were combined with Socrates in a 6th century compilation, which has obscured their differences until recently, when their individual portrayals of the series of Christian emperors were distinguished one from another and contrasted by Hartmut Lepin, von Constantin dem Grossen zu Theodosius II. Editions and translations The Historia Ecclesiastica was first edited in Greek by Robert S. G. N. On the basis of Codex Regis 1443, a translation into Latin by Johannes Christophorsen is important for its variant readings. The fundamental early modern edition, however, was produced by Henricus Valesius, who used the Codex Regis, a Codex Vaticanus and a Codex Florentinus, and also employed the indirect tradition of Theodorus Lecter. The text was edited in Petrologia Graeca Vol. 67 1995. An English translation by A. C. Zenos was published in Nicene and Post-Nicene Fathers, Second Series, Vol. 2, edited by Philip Schaff and Henry Wace. Online editions newadvent.org ccel.org menzies.com More recently Socrates' history has been published in four bilingual volumes by Pierre Maral in the Sources Crati and Collection.